Hey there. My granddad was full of interesting sayings, and one of his sayings was, Moi blau is need lelik. Uh, which means, pretty blue is not ugly. This is a very interesting blue. This pen was sent to me by Ben Walsh of the Gravitas Pen Company. Uh, I think it is a very nice uh, pen, and it's also a very nice blue. It's an uh, aluminum pen body, but this, this blue is very nice, and I'm, I'm hoping the camera kind of captures it, but it's, it's a really nice, deep sky blue. So I've had a lot of fun with this pen. Uh, um, it's a very pleasant writer, and I'm very excited to review it. So. I'm going to cover the parts of this pen. I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at the Gravitas Fountain Pen Blue. So it comes in this cute little pouch which has the Gravitas logo on there in relief as well as this which I really like. I think it looks cool and it's a nice way to protect your pen. Here we have the actual pen. Uh, it I hope I can make it stick, okay, and not roll. This is the pen next to a Pilot Metropolitan. You see it is a bit bigger and it's definitely girthier. Okay, uh, this is aluminum, also known as aluminium, depending on who you ask. It is bead blasted, which means it's smooth to the touch before being anodized and then it gets that wonderful blue color, which I think, I really think it's a very nice blue. It's really a deep sky blue. And right now I think that the camera catches it quite nicely in the light. That's really quite nice. There are um, silicone nitride, nitride, ni nitride, I can't say this word for some reason, I haven't had a lot of caffeine today yet. Uh, finials, this one here, this one there. I think that looks nice, that makes them a little less sharp, which is quite nice. For a second I thought it was a glass breaker. I haven't tried to break glass, might one day let you know, may delete later, who knows. Uh, the 70 euros, uh, they are a bit beefier than the other pen that uh, Ben sent me, the entry, might, as you can see here, a bit beefier, quite a bit actually. Um, those finials are also meant to be protective, so I suppose you don't dent the, um, um, the, 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 the tips, right? One thing that I really enjoyed is that this step down is at a 60 degree bevel and that makes it very pleasant to hold. It's not at all sharp. It may look a little sharp, it's not. It's really nicely made and I really enjoy that. The pen comes with a converter, it comes with a little carrying case. Uh, it's just a Schmidt uh, K5 converter and it's a number six nib that looks tremendously like a Yovo nib, so I would assume it is Yovo. Um, comfortable pen, comfortable to hold, nice and smooth, does not post, but I don't think you necessarily have to. It's a relatively long section I find, which is great. I find it very comfortable to hold and I, I have no need to post this as I use it. So, let's see how it writes. We have the Gravitas, uh, I'm just gonna call it, it's called the Fountain Pencil, I'm just gonna call it FP blue. Uh, the nib is fine and this is Hiroshi Zuku Kon Peki. I could have picked something with a shorter name. It's a fine nib and being a, a, a true fine nib uh, there is a bit of feedback as you write. I don't find it unpleasant. I don't find it scratchy. Really quite comfortable. Uh, I am not bothered by weight. Uh, or or um, anything else really. It's, I, I really find it's a very comfortable pen to hold and that makes it a lot of fun to write with. Uh, it's not a gusher, especially with your Shizuko ink, uh, but I found it to, to definitely write properly. Uh, it's a round nib, so there is no line variation based on angle of writing. Uh, 
line variation by pressure it's not a flex nib it's not advertised as such you can probably squeeze out a little bit but I would be very very careful uh, reverse writing uh, as you can see it's not really possible it becomes very dry and nothing really comes out okay that is the Gravitas fountain pen in blue I'm going to discuss with you what I like and what I don't like about it. What do I like? What do I not like about the Gravitas the Fountain Pen Blue? Um, I like a lot about it. It's slightly girthier than the entry by the same company, which I enjoy because I like a slightly beefier pen. Uh, it's comfortable to hold. It's a nice size. It does not post. That's something that some people might not appreciate it doesn't really bother me because this pen is definitely big enough for me to use unposted so that's not really an issue um, I like that I like the size and weight it's very comfortable I really like the way the section is shaped again it's very comfortable for me to hold the nib writes wonderfully all of these are great things do I have any issues a couple times I have had ink on the section and I that might be because I kept the pen too violently. It is metal on metal, right? Which I would assume creates a bit of a vibration just because it's metal on metal. It's, it's, I don't know, it could be a fabrication in my mind. In any case, I've had some, some ink in the section, so I would be a little careful with how you carry this pen. Don't flick it around too much. I'm doing this on purpose now to see if I can reproduce the issue. I don't think a lot of people would do this with a fountain pen and it's clean. So maybe that was a single isolated incident, I don't know. Um, it only happened once, but I just wanted to point it out. As a writer, a solid piece. Uh, just like the entry, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. I think the, the, the price, 70 euros for this, I think it's fair for a machined pen that a man makes. This is not something, like, it's not a company that churns out 10 million of these a day because they have 7,000 employees. It's not like that, right? So, take that into account. I think the price is fair. You get a cute little uh, pen sleeve with it. You can carry your pen in. Uh, it, it, it is nicely made. It actually has this, this logo on it in relief. It's it's a solid product. I, I like seeing these kinds of pens and and um, seeing how well they write because they are solid products and I love to see newer companies coming out with these kinds of models pens that are clearly well thought through that work in every way I think the color in this case is very nice um, it works this pen just works and that's what I'll say about it so I love that Ben, thanks a lot for sending me this pen, I, uh, pens actually, because he sent me a couple. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.